What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Showdown Live video. Basically, today I'm gonna be doing one of my classic labbing sessions. This isn't gonna be a video where I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna take this Pokemon to the top of the ladder. This is gonna be a video where I'm like, hey, I had an idea and it's either gonna be complete trash or actually pretty good. But yeah, uh, before we get into that, do me a favor, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it at any point in time. Subscribe to the channel and turn notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content. And answer my comment question of the day. What is your favorite fighting type in this format? Uh, I personally don't think there are many good fighting types. I think that we're better off using Thunderous most of the time, but I think Surfesh is pretty cool. I don't think he's good in the format, but he can work. <laughs> at least that's what we're trying today. Also, uh, check out my Teespring for this limited run 20,000 subscriber merch. It's going to be available until uh, February 27th. So yeah, anyways, let's get into the team and what it is. Basically, uh, in a labbing session, as always, I like to make the EV spreads very basic and not really go too far into stuff. The EV spreads are either very basic or stolen from Picolytics directly, but I'm testing a concept here. I run, I want to run Surfetched as sort of an anti-Incineroar Pokemon with Calyrex Ice, since Calyrex Ice hates facing Incineroar with Intimidate spam. Uh, basically, Calyrex can deal with, um, it can deal with Landris, because it's, you know, obviously, but it doesn't like Incineroar in particular. Uh, what I want to do is use Surfetched with a Leak as just a generally strong Pokemon. Uh, he's got Scrappy, so he can't be intimidated. On top of that, I'm actually running Quick Guard because I can actually lead off Venusaur or Calyrex Ice and whatever I need to do. I can Quick Guard a Fake Out and go for my Trick Room or go for a Sleep Powder or do whatever I really need to. It's going to be really good. Uh, I could also, of course, go with Ndidi to stop Fake Out, but uh, versus Rillaboom, it's a little bit more difficult. Just having the option multiple times in a game is really nice. So yeah, uh, he's a very basic EV spread, just max HP, max attack, four special defense. Uh, we have Calyrex Ice with the Figgy Berry. I could, I could have traded this out for like a weakness policy or, you know, a life orb, but life orb was somewhere else and I just didn't feel comfortable running weakness policy. I'd prefer the berry for just some residual recovery, or not residual, but instant recovery. Uh, and I feel like it's a decent Pokemon. We're running Grim Snarl with a light clay, spirit break, light screen, reflect, fake out, stolen EV spread from Picolytics, uh, life orb, G max Venusaur, chlorophyll, of course, max, uh, max special attack, max speed, leaf storm, sludge bomb, earth power, sleep powder. We have a charcoal torkoal to you know, just play general sunroom shenanigans. Uh, and we have a Focus Sash and Didi with Psychic Surge. But yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Once again, this is the sort of video where I'm either going to win every single match or lose every single match. It's just a concept, guys. But yeah, let's try it. Okay, so going into the first match here, I actually did something off camera real quick. I um, had to go leave to do a thing, but I actually switched to 84 speed Adamant Surfetch to make sure I outspeed every Incineroar and I'm able to get off my Quick Guard. And that should help out quite a bit. I think what I want to do here is, hmm, I might be able to pull something off that's really fun. I'll lead off Surfetched Grim Snarl, and that's because on Torn Ogre I can actually go for a first impression onto the Kyogre, and the 50% crit rate makes it so I can actually do a solid amount and uh, save myself in that situation. Go Venusaur as well, uh, and probably Torkoal, I might actually, mm, I'll, I'll go Calyrex actually in Torkoal. Yeah, as they end up leading off with Torn and Lando. Uh, slightly concerned about Torn, not so much Lando. I can go for a fake out on the Torn. I don't think they're gonna Dynamax this Landorus. I, I just don't see it, especially when the Trick Room is so nice. Hmm. Go for a Leaf Blade. Ah, they Dynamax the Lando. Okay, well, worst case scenario just happened. Let me see. Surfetch is gone, I'm certain. Yep, Surfetch is gone. Uh, I can't protect versus the obvious taunt coming my way. So the next best thing I can do is just take two KOs by going for a Reflect and a Glacial Lance. That's pretty much the next best thing I can do. Go for a Hurricane. Can I somehow live? I do. I'm going to take two KOs here. Figgy Berry comes in handy. Nice. And now we're a plus two Calyrex. And they don't have a Dynamax. There's the Ogre and the Cart. Okay, this actually got really bad really quick. Um, I should be able to knock out Kyogre here. But I have to do something I don't like. I have to Dynamax Max Guard and get off a Light Screen.
I suppose I could have just protected. <laughs> I suppose I could have just protected and made more sense, but um, yeah, now I should be able to do this. I can go for a max quake onto the Kyogre as well as a heat wave. And nice. We just barely sneak in a win there. Yeah, I could have just regular protected, but we managed to sneak in a win. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. Once again, this is going to be one of those videos where I either win every match or lose every match. I, I did a couple of like practice games and um, yeah, I, I feel okay with the team. It just doesn't feel amazing. So it, it's definitely one of those teams that needs a lot of work before I release the full version. So uh, what do we have here? We have, hey, yo. So we have Rain with Zacian, which usually leads to, you know, Dynamaxing the, the Rain user. It shouldn't be too hard to get my Trick Room off if I just go Calyrex and Didi. They don't have an Intimidate user, so that's really nice. Uh, in the back here, I'll actually go with Surfetched and Torkoal, and that just feels really good. Hopefully we can see Surfetched do something besides die to a Lando on lead. As they go Calyrex Kingdra, or not Calyrex Kingdra, uh, Volcarona Kingdra, this feels okay. Uh, what I can do is just Trick Room follow me. A Muddy Water won't KO Calyrex if they decide to switch in the um, the Politoed here. So I should be able to pull this off. Follow me. As they go for a Struggle Bug, that's fine. And a Max Wormwind, okay. That's fine, I think. Um, because what I can do here is get in Surfetched. I think I also want to get in Torkoal just to keep Calyrex healthy. And I'll actually click Max Knuckle. I feel like under Trick Room I can actually Dynamax the Surfetched, funny enough. Torkoal is going to be really, really important to beating the Zacian in the back, though, since it just hard walls it most of the time. Crit. Nice. Okay, so the next one should KO. Ooh, okay, that did a lot of damage. Overheat onto Torkoal, that's perfectly fine. Uh, I can go for a Heat Wave here. As well as a, another Max Knuckle. Yeah, I'll go for another Max Knuckle onto Kingdra. If they Max Guard, it's, it's whatever. They can switch in Politoed or whatever, I don't really care. But, I don't know, this one might not end so well. I feel like uh, the amount of damage I took from that Max Wormwind was a, was a bit more than I hoped for. In comes the Politoed, that's fine. As I'm going to be taking that Kingdra from them. Nice, and I'm at plus one attack, which is really good position to be in. Uh, since I should be able to KO this Volcarona with just Heat Wave into... I don't think Max Overgrowth will do it. Dang, I need to get rid of you, like, really bad. Let me get in Calyrex here, actually. And I think my play is going to be to max overgrowth into Politoed for the KO. And with Rain Up, I should take whatever I need to from this uh, Volcarona. Okay, that kind of sucked. <laughs> no burn, but we're going to do a solid amount of damage. Oh, no crit, okay. Let me think. They definitely don't like taking a Glacial Lance after a close combat on any of these things. So, actually no. I think my play is going to be high horsepower. Since I'm going to be un un uh, underspeeding my Volcarona. Or underspeeding my Torkoal. <laughs> Surfetched. Speak, Marco. Speak. Use your words. And I'm going to go for a close combat in the Politoed. Okay. I'm going to take the Politoed from them, I think. As they actually underspeed me, which is a little bit annoying. I guess I, I guess we knew that. Hmm. I think that's GG, since an overheat will most certainly KO me. GG. Well played. If I get tight. There we go. Unfortunately, not going to be able to pick up the win there. Let me think. Um, yeah, running speed on the Surfetch is kind of weird, because I, like... I need to to make sure Quick Guard's effective versus Incinero teams, but I also, like, don't get the most out of it under Trick Room. I think I can actually lead off Surfetched here, and it wouldn't be a bad idea. 
Um, I think Surfetched plus Calyrex kind of makes sense here. Yeah, I'll go Surfetched Calyrex, and I think I'll bring Indeedee in the back and Torkoal. Yeah, all right. So what they're going to do here is probably just go for Fake Out and whatever they want to. What is it called? Uh, Iron Defense, which is a really annoying combo, but I think I'm cool with it. As long as I can pick up the KO here. Um, I'll go into Indeedee. Surfetch is actually a really nice Reggie Steel counter since they just like to set up. Yeah, critical hit, knockout. <laughs> Nice. Shout out to Leek. Shout out to Leek uh, on the uh, Surfetched. I don't know how you come back from that. There's the Palkia. Um, once again, Surfetched just goes stupid. <laughs> I get a... I, get, I always get a crit with Leek Blade, but if I get a crit with Close Combat, that'd be even better. It's 50%. Uh, what I could do is follow me and just Close Combat. Or I can even just try to go for the Trick Room at this point. I think what I should do is... Let me think. Because they're going to go for the Max Wormwind, right? I'll just close combat and... Uh, I'm getting Torkoal here. I want to keep the Sash on the Indeedy to make sure I can Trick Room with my Calyrex. Just the Max Wormwind, that's fine. Dang. Okay, let me think. Go for a Protect here and a Yawn on the Palkia. Because if they go for a max water move into the Torkoal, it's whatever. I'll be able to set up a Trick Room and start clicking Glacial Lance. Alright, yeah, that's fine. Because now I can Trick Room. Follow me, Trick Room. And I'm going to have to Dynamax and start clicking buttons. Max Wormwind, probably a Spirit Break, yep. All right, let's see if we can come back here. I believe my play is always, always, always Max Hailstorm Palkia and hope that there isn't a Incineroar in the back. I'm assuming their last Pokemon is Alchemy, to be honest. Alchemy just makes the most sense given what they had. Spirit Break, that's fine. Hydro Pump, I avoid Max Hailstorm again. As long as I can pick up a KO, I should be fine. I'm gonna have to use like my entire Dynamax turns doing this though. I could also be Max Quaking, I guess. Ooh, okay, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, uh, it is time to click Max Quake. Since that'll uh, help me out here. Dang, I might get Nanade on by Spatial Rend. <laughs> Fake Tears again. I think I'm fine as long as I pick up a KO on this Alchemy, which I'm certain is in the back here. Or maybe if there's just a physical attacker that isn't. Yeah, there it is. Um, I should go for Glacial Lance and hope that Alchemy doesn't just destroy me. I have to crit, I think. Nope, don't pick up a KO. GG. Dang. Okay, yeah, Fake Tears... Uh, Definitely ruined the game plan there, but it's whatever. As we face... Dude, I'm mid-ladder. Why am I facing, like, weird stuff today? Am I mid-ladder? I feel like I'm mid-ladder. 2021, uh, 14, 16. It's pretty low. This is my alt account, so... There isn't much wrong with the game plan of just trick rooming, to be honest. We'll just do it. Uh, Torkoal in the back. Seems really nice, and I think I'll just go Surfetched once more. So same squad as last time. Um, yeah, like I, I think that's just perfectly fine. Because I should be able to pick off a lot of Pokemon with Glacial Lance. He has absolutely zero Ice Resists on this team. Surprisingly enough, Rock types do not resist Ice. Yeah. If they Speed Swap, I am going to laugh a little bit. So we will Trick Room, follow me. If 
They go for a coaching. Are you gonna rock slide? Ooh, okay. Okay. That's a that's a little bit concerning, but I mean this guy is usually clear body, so I shouldn't have to worry too much about just going for this, right? So 49, 49. Ooh, it's a speed tie if he's trick room. He doesn't have a trick room user on this team though, so I don't think he's gonna underspeed me. Uh, I believe my play here is to max Quake and Helping Hand and hope that does enough because they're just going to coach again. And I'm assuming that they... Ah, we don't KO. Okay, yeah, we're fine. I was going to say, I'm assuming that they're not Trick Room on this thing. So now my play is to... Let me do some math. So Quake did 62%. I think I have to Helping Hand again, unfortunately. I want to go for an Expanding Force, but it's just not worth it. They could also protect, and then I'd be in a pretty tough spot, but I kind of have to just attack Reggie Rock. And like I said, these things are usually clear body and not um, sturdy or anything. And there are three turns of Psychic Train left. You can turn on the timer too. Apologies if you can hear rats eating treats in the background. <laughs> That's just kind of what they do. I got them a, a nice little edible log and they just love chewing on it all day, but it's it's kind of loud. I must admit, it's a, it's a bit loud. Helping hand. They actually quake into the Ndidi, so it is a speed tie, surprisingly. And they end up, dang it. All right, I can still win this. Um, I have earth power, right? I go for a hailstorm in the Feromosa. And earth power should KO this thing. It's usually Sash Feromosa, and we have two turns of Trick Room, so I think I'm okay. Get that KO there. Get that KO there. Still have a turn of Trick Room to take advantage of, uh, and they already Dynamax, so I don't know. Maybe I'll be able to pull something off with Surfetch Torkoal. They're very underwhelming. <laughs> These are very underwhelming Pokemon on the field, as it is Tapu Koko and Lugia. I think my play here is going to be hope for a crit first impression and go for this heat wave. Because Lugia is going to be really annoying. And Lugia usually doesn't run protect, I believe. They like roost, calm mind, recover, and stuff. So if I can crit this, that'd be really nice. Nice does nothing, though, because uh, multi scale. Okay. Okay. How much did that do? Dazzling Gleam. I mean, my play is to Leaf Blade this thing. Go for a Yawn on Lugia. And just hope that I live somehow. Like, because it's not going to work out any other way. Or I guess, just Leaf Blade Heat Wave. <laughs> I'm trying to think, like, how can I improve Surfetched on teams? I felt like he would be nice for, you know, just beating Incineroar on lead with a uh, Tail Room. Not Tail Room, but um, Sun Room, but so far it's been really underwhelming. All right, as we face a very strange Zygarde comp, I think it's gonna be the last one. Uh, this is definitely, I, I will put this in the, in the book of failed ideas, but I don't know, we'll find something else. We'll find something else. I'm probably gonna have to put this in the failed book idea, uh, failed book of uh, team ideas. I can definitely lead off Surfetched here. That isn't anything I have to worry about. Um, I'll go Calyrex. No. No, I won't. I think my play here is always to go Calyrex and Deedee. Surfetched in the back and Torkoal again. I haven't brought Venusaur once. Uh, yeah, I should be able to Trick Room pretty easily here. Go for a Follow Me. If they're Heat Wave, that'll be a little bit annoying, but I should always get my Trick Room off. I suppose another option would have been just to lead off Surfetched and Ndidi to make sure I can just go for close combat onto the obvious Incineroar lead. I don't know. It's pretty hard to use Surfetched, to be honest. Like, he was okay in previous series, but uh, unfortunately, the small niche I tried to find with um, Quick Guard didn't work out. Trick Room up. Uh, I can go for a high horsepower and expanding force and not really worry about much else. Because I want to get rid of Salazzle. 
Actually, no, I definitely need to keep Calyrex around. I think what I'll do is go Torkoal here in Expanding Force on the Salazzle. Focus Sash. Nope. That kind of looks... Oh, I guess they did go for that. Uh, Will-O-Wisp, I avoid. That's really nice. Here, I just go for an Earth Power into Incineroar. And another Expanding Force. And that'll KO the Salazzle. They go for that. Uh, I can go for a Yawn into you. And actually, if he's just going for Snarl, I can get in Calyrex now. Yeah, Zygarde isn't too much of a threat if uh, I just go for a Yawn here. Uh, since it's, you know, it's going to be setting up here. Oh no, it just goes for the Dynamax. Probably going to go for a Quake, which would be ideal. Not a Max Wormwind. Yeah, they go for the Quake. Uh, what I'll do here is I'll get in the Surf Fetched. And I'll go I'll go for a close combat into the Incineroar and just hard switch in the Indeedee. The rest of the team isn't too difficult for Surf Fetched plus Calyrex to deal with. As long as uh, they don't go for like Whirlwind or anything. In comes Salazzle, that's fine. Go for a Max Guard, and they just let me put their Zygarde to sleep, which is really surprising. That is really surprising. What do they have in the back? I outspeed everything not named Kartana. As it's just Incineroar, um, I can go for a close combat and a follow me. They stay asleep, they go for the fake out. Once again, I just close combat. And uh, follow me. As, as soon as Incineroar is gone, I'm in a good spot. And Snarl kind of screams Assault Vest. As I outspeed, critical hit, nice. 50% crits is always awesome. And it's Kartana. Okay, now I'm actually pretty concerned. Because uh, if I don't play my cards right against Kartana, I could be in really big trouble. I think I just go for a close combat follow me again and hope that Zygarde stays asleep. As Zygarde does stay asleep, um, I think I might have to Dynamax Sir fetched. <laughs> Let me get in the Calyrex here and protect, because uh, they're probably just going to go for a thousand arrows, which would probably knock out the Surfetch from this range. Yeah, thousand arrows, uh, Sacred Sword. Yeah, luckily that's neutral. Interesting, they don't have aerial ace. Thousand arrows didn't do anything really to Indeedee, and they're Life Orb, so. Let me think here. I can try to Trick Room follow me. I don't know how well that's going to work out. Yeah, Smart Strike goes first, so I get it off. In comes you. Go for a High Horsepower. Or actually, no, I don't even need to. I just go for the Glacial Lance. And a First Impression into Kartana feels right. Just in case Zygarde is actually slower than me. So they go for the Protect. They're going to just give me the Zygarde, which is nice. Get that KO. Nice. And I just go for a Glacial Lance again and a Close Combat. Or I could even just let let the boy have it. Let the boy have the Close Combat KO. Let, let Surfetch do something. Alright, so Surfetch did something in this video. Unfortunately, it wasn't exactly what I wanted to do. I felt like it was pretty underwhelming. Um, I could get another one, but I don't know. This team definitely doesn't feel as good as it did when I was testing it last night. Let me know what you guys think about Surfetched. How would you run it on a team? I'd really appreciate some, uh, not some pointers, but like some ideas. Because I'm, 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 I really want to run Surfetched, but I'm sort of out of ideas for it. Uh, let me know. I'd really appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.